Hey, Domchick Guru here with uh, Eight Dragons, which is one of those throwback beat em ups. And the first thing I'm going to do is turn off these scanline uh, visual effects because they give me a headache. Let's do this. Yes, Death Stranding does look cool, and everyone tells me it's amazing. So I'm totes excited to play it. Alright, let's do this. What the hell? Oh, I accidentally uh, changed the language. There we go. Alright, story mode. I, sh I can play the saboteur, Maddie. You haven't been here at the start of stream, so you haven't reminded me to play it. Alright, so Becca, Locke, Zonda, Danny, Aston, uh, James Bond or Bruce Lee? James Bond. I wonder if you can actually have eight players. That would be neat. Car park. You're not going to tell me how to play the game, huh? It's a weird move. Ow. As far as jumping attacks go, that's a pretty weird one. So, my plan is to just let this guy kill all of his friends with a motorcycle? How do I pick this up? Alright, come and get me. That didn't work. If you remind me, Maddie. Oh, wait, wait, what happened there? I did a kick as well! How did I do the kick? Ah, there it is! Yes! I got killed, but it was worth it. So the thing that looks like a jumping punch is actually just a jump. And there seems to be... Ah, it's B to pick up items. There you go. We killed the first boss, everybody. Now it's gonna kill... Now we're gonna kill some people with a sledgehammer. That was awesome. Did you see that? I kung fu a guy off of a bike, and it also killed his two friends, or at least badly beat up his two friends. Oh, it's a it's a thing for charging Teslas. Nice. Why did that guy fall over? No! I gotta stop fighting people in parking lots. It's not going well for me. It was awesome. Is that, is that it? Are we done? We might be done, folks. Nope. Countdown's still happening. Okay, back to it. No! Wow, this game is really about stun-locking you all of the time, isn't it? Yeah! Huh. Clubs for the memories. That's not a saying. Kind of owes a lot to the original Renegade, doesn't it? With its pacing. No judgment, but these are some pretty jiggly ass ladies. They really went all in with the jiggling. The game automatically turns you to face the guy you're closest to. It's weird and not a feature I've really seen in a game like this before. Bunch of new back kicks, which is awesome. No! We well, took down Billy, though. I mean, I, as a tribute to really old time beat em ups, this thing is like dead on. To the point that where if you get the right weapon, you can just kind of stand there and club dudes over and over again. No, they got me! Rainbow's Club, you say. Oh no! Burger! Well, I'm having weird, like, like, not really screen tearing, but, like, strange after image effects all over the place. It's very weird. No, they got me! Hmm. 
So if you're wondering what that scream was, a the door of the medicine cabinet fell off while my lady was in the room. It was very scary. She was opening it and it just fell right off. And it hit my arm. And it's not light. It has a mirror on it. No! They attacked my friend! Come on, motorcycle Pete. Wow, I'm really not good. Seriously though, like... If you're a big fan of old-timey beat-em-ups like the original Renegade, this is pretty darn cool. If you're not familiar with Renegade, it was the game that came before Double Dragon. It's very similar to Double Dragon. No, I lost the sledgehammer! I did not hit that guy either. How can I turn around that? No, door's fine. Luckily. Yes, I was just talking about the uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids game earlier on the stream and uh, how I immediately checked out when I found out it was going to be co-op. I'm like, I don't have the time or wherewithal to gather four people to play a game with me at set times. I'm just realistically, I know I'm not going to do that, so I'm not going to get emotionally invested in this. Gotcha, you bastards. Way to go, Danny. I mean, I'm gonna lose, but... Yeah, this game is kind of... Wait, he does a second... Oh! Is the second mission random, or is it different for every character? You okay? Hmm. No! Yeah, they really captured the Double Dragon experience. Right down to the unfair difficulty. Of course, in Double Dragon, if you died all the deaths, you could just, you know, put in a quarter to continue. You know, there were occasional video games. I can't think of one off the top of my head. But it's, uh, it's a true fact that there used to be video games where if you... Wait, so Rant, Chard, Sarah, Becca, Locke, Zonda. Only two of them are recognizably characters from another set. There used to be video games. Yes, where if you got to the boss area, the game stopped letting you put in money to continue. God, I remember that. Yeah, that's a real thing that video games used to do, and it sucked! Okay, that was a nice kick. Delicious coins, don't mind if I doodle. No! Dude loves his jump kicks, doesn't he? Sadly, I can't do a reverse jump kick in this the way you can in Double Dragon 2. And to a lesser extent... Oh my god, I have an axe! Prepare to get asked a question. Thank you for laughing at my obscure reference. Futurama? It's not that obscure. Pretty obscure. Obscure. You know what I love most about this? She's using the spike end of the axe. She's like specifically turned the axe around to hit people with the pike end instead of the blade end. That's really mean. Don't mess with Sarah, peeps. 
most accuracy, most damage, most kills. Sarah. Like, seriously, as a tribute to Renegade, Double Dragon, just any of the early beat em ups, you know, any of the pre final fight. Final fight's what changed the game. No! Also, lots of different types of enemies. And because of memory limitations, classic beat-em-ups would only ever have, like, you know, six different types of enemies. This thing has, like, you know, I've already seen, like, 12. Because, you know, it's not like it was hard to make new types of enemies. You just slightly change clothes, skin color. You use the same animations, but you just, you know, mess with the sprites a little. It was an easy thing to do, and there were no real limitations. Other, like, there's no limitations on the artists. They were all talented enough to create as many of these sprites as they wanted. But there were such limitations on the uh, hardware, like the actual cards they put in the actual arcade systems, that you just couldn't put that many different types of enemies on screen. They call me the Dark Cat. Because I meow room for daddy. Nope, that didn't work at all. Not even clear what I was trying to do. See, like, it's clearly the same guy, but they go so far as to one of them has a purple headband, one of them has a blue headband. Like, they put in that little bit of extra effort. I like that. This is literally the first level of Renegade. And this is a trick you could actually pull in Renegade, because guys will always try to get behind you. But if you walk right up to the ledge, they can't. No! We managed to do a move! That sounds about right. Alright, this has been Eight Dragons, and I gotta say, pretty darn good! I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you've had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. I'll see you back here for more new and upcoming games. But until then, I'm going to say au revoir.